It began like so many other discoveries in astronomy, not with a flash of light or a booming announcement, but with a faint, silent blip, a motion across the blackness of space so subtle, so eerily calculated that even the most advanced tracking systems almost missed it. At first, it was thought to be a comet, then maybe an asteroid, but the more we looked, the more Three-Eye Atlas defied every label we tried to place on it. It was too symmetrical to be natural, too silent to be alive, and far too controlled to be adrift. Scientists remembered Oumuamua, that strange, tumbling shard of interstellar mystery that passed through our solar system years earlier, leaving behind more questions than answers. But Three-Eye Atlas, this was something else entirely. Bigger, slower, smarter. And now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye in the cosmos, we have confirmation of something deeply unsettling. 3. Eye Atlas is not just similar to Oumuamua. It is far more advanced, far more dangerous, and possibly far more aware. When 3 Eye Atlas was first cataloged, it was immediately obvious that this was no ordinary visitor. Objects from outside our solar system don't usually pass so close to Earth. They blaze by at wild angles on unpredictable paths and then disappear forever into the black. But 3 Eye Atlas moved differently. It didn't barrel through space. It coasted. Its trajectory was eerily smooth, almost like it had been piloted. Its path allowed it to drift past several of our planets in ways that maximized gravitational efficiency, as though it had mapped our solar system long before arrival. That alone was troubling. But then when astronomers backtracked its origin, they realized something far more disturbing. The path of Three-Eye Atlas wasn't just unlikely, it was statistically impossible without intelligent intervention. A rogue body couldn't have avoided debris fields, solar radiation spikes, and planetary collision zones with such elegance. It was like watching a chess piece move through a board where every square was a threat. And yet, it danced through perfectly, as if it knew the game better than we did. With James Webb fully online, scientists wasted no time pointing it toward Three-Eye Atlas. What it saw left even the most skeptical astronomers speechless. First, the thermal readings. Unlike comets or asteroids, which typically emit heat in random bursts as ice sublimates and surface materials react to solar radiation, Three-Eye Atlas showed a consistent rhythmic pattern of heat emission, like a signal. Not chaotic, not random, but pulsed, measured. Webb's spectrography revealed materials never before seen in any known interstellar object. Hyperreflective compounds, possibly artificial, and dense internal structuring suggesting hollow segments. But most haunting of all was a faint recurring anomaly, a low bandwidth electromagnetic frequency echoing from within the object, repeating every 147 seconds, identical to a known pulsar signature. Yet, the object had no internal energy source, no spinning core, no magnetic field. It was mimicking something, or communicating. When scientists cross-referenced that signal with data from Oumuamua, they discovered something terrifying. The exact same frequency was detected once briefly in Oumuamua's tail, just before it left our system. Only now that signal was louder. When Oumuamua passed by Earth in 2017, it did so quietly. It had no cometary tail, no clear source of propulsion, and its strange acceleration puzzled experts. It was cigar-shaped, tumbling end over end like a slow-motion dart. And yet, it moved faster than gravity alone could explain. Some argued it was alien technology. Others insisted it was a fluke of physics. But the debate never ended because the object disappeared before we could study it. But now, with Three-Eye Atlas in range, the mystery of Oumuamua came rushing back, not because this new object resembled it, but because it surpassed it in every metric, larger, slower, more stable, and clearly deliberate. Some began to suspect that Oumuamua wasn't a scout. It was a probe, a passive reconnaissance device. But Three-Eye Atlas, this wasn't passive. This was interactive. This was observing us as we observed it. This was the second phase, like the difference between a radar ping and a drone. And if that's true, then we must ask the question no one dares say out loud. What is coming next? NASA has not confirmed any alien activity. Official statements remain guarded, neutral, and couched in scientific jargon. But independent researchers, those not shackled by government protocol, have gone public with their fears. In leaked internal chats, a team at the European Space Agency referred to 3 Eye Atlas as a possible consciousness engine. What that means exactly is unclear, but when paired with Webb's latest images, the theory takes on a horrifying shape. 
The structural layout inside 3i Atlas resembles recursive geometric fractals, patterns known to emerge in complex systems like brain tissue and quantum processors. It's as if the object was built not just to survive space, but to think through it, and more disturbingly, to evolve while moving through star systems. Imagine a spacecraft that becomes smarter the more it observes, that adapts its own materials, shapes, and behaviors based on what it encounters. Not artificial intelligence as we understand it, but something organic, systemic, and potentially sentient. That is what we may be facing now. Not just a visitor, but a learning entity. And if it's learning from us, what is it preparing for? Just when scientists believed they had mapped the future trajectory of 3i Atlas, something happened that shattered the fragile consensus. A sudden redirection. On a clear night, telescopes in Chile and Hawaii recorded a minute but unmistakable course shift unexplainable by gravity, solar wind, or any known natural force. The object veered slightly off its projected arc, aligning instead with a completely new vector, one that leads it closer to Earth's orbital plane. To some, it was a glitch, but to mission analysts at the Deep Space Network, the conclusion was more alarming. 3i Atlas had responded either to our presence or to something else, but it changed direction with the kind of timing and finesse that implied decision-making. And that word, decision, is what sparked late-night emergency meetings at NASA, ESA, and private think tanks around the world. This wasn't random, it was surgical, and it confirmed a possibility long feared. If Oumuamua was a passive observer, then 3i Atlas is actively watching and perhaps maneuvering. While public institutions remained quiet, a group of independent data scientists and cryptographers began analyzing the electromagnetic pulses coming from 3i Atlas. Using deep neural networks trained on multi-language pattern recognition and cosmic signal logs, they uncovered a recursive sequence, not a message in words, but in ratios. The golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence, prime number spirals, the same codes that appear in biological life, galaxy formations, DNA sequencing, and ancient architectural structures on Earth. Some dismissed this as coincidence, but the signal wasn't constant. It changed over time, reacting subtly to solar activity, to planetary proximity, and even to radio emissions from Earth. One chilling discovery emerged. A brief disruption in the pulse pattern matched exactly with the moment James Webb first locked onto 3i Atlas in the infrared spectrum, meaning the object may have detected that we were observing it. It knows we see it and it responded with a mathematical fingerprint that speaks a language older than speech itself, a language of construction, of life, of design. It wasn't just the trajectory or the signal that terrified researchers. It was what lay beneath the surface. James Webb's spectroscopy picked up faint traces of complex carbon molecules, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons on the outer shell of 3i Atlas. These are not just organic compounds. They are considered the building blocks of prebiotic chemistry, precursors to amino acids, RNA structures, and ultimately life itself. What makes this discovery so alarming is their purity. Unlike the chaotic mixes found in primitive comets, these molecules were perfectly structured, suggesting they were either refined or grown. Some theorize this might be a seed ship, an ancient carrier of life designed not just to explore, but to colonize. And if true, then Earth may not be a destination by accident. It could be a target not of war, not of destruction, but of assimilation. A place to plant, observe, and eventually merge with. Now with three confirmed interstellar visitors, Oumuamua, Borisov, and 3i Atlas, scientists are beginning to connect dots they never thought possible. Oumuamua tumbled, silent and fast. Borisov was cometary but unusually accelerated. 3i Atlas, it's a hybrid, slow, massive, engineered, and its complexity is growing the longer it remains in the solar system. Webb has recorded subtle changes in its reflective surface shifts in patterning that suggest self-reconfiguration like a machine adjusting itself, adapting, preparing. And here's the most terrifying development. As of the latest readings, 3i Atlas has begun emitting a secondary signal, lower frequency, longer pulses, and it's pointed toward deep space, not Earth. It's broadcasting outward. Some say it's calling for reinforcements. Others believe it's reporting back. But either way, one thing is now undeniable. This was never just an interstellar rock. This was a node, a probe, a messenger. Just when scientists thought they had gathered all there was to learn from 3i Atlas, something happened that broke the barrier between observation and consequence. A high-altitude surveillance balloon over the Antarctic region, part of a classified atmospheric monitoring program, detected a powerful microwave burst, brief, sharp, and centered precisely above the southern pole. 
At first, it was blamed on solar interference until data cross-checks showed the timing aligned perfectly with a new angular shift in 3i Atlas's trajectory. But that's not all. Moments after the burst, several seismic stations on the frozen continent recorded ultra-low frequency rumbles not associated with tectonic activity or ice movement. These frequencies were identical in pitch and duration to the deep space pulse emitted by 3i Atlas. Suddenly, what was believed to be a cosmic anomaly became a terrestrial intrusion. Was the object somehow influencing our planet's magnetic field? Or worse, was it triggering some sort of activation buried beneath the ice? The idea that 3i Atlas could be awakening dormant systems on Earth, natural or otherwise, wasn't just unthinkable. It was unacceptable. And yet, the data was irrefutable. Back at Mission Control, one of the youngest data analysts stumbled upon something buried deep within a set of archived telescope images. When he overlaid 3i Atlas's trajectory across a celestial coordinate grid from ancient Babylonian star maps, he noticed that the object's path intersected not just planetary alignments, but stellar constellations considered sacred in multiple civilizations, Orion, Draco, and the Pleiades. When plotted over time, these intersections formed a perfect spiral, one mirrored almost identically in ancient cave art found across South America, Africa, and even pre-dynastic Egypt. Some dismissed the connection as pseudo-archaeology, but others within the web science team quietly began running models based on the hypothesis that 3i Atlas's path was performative, a ritualistic mapping encoded into its motion visible only to species advanced enough to recognize the pattern. What if this object wasn't just traveling but broadcasting culture, language, memory, a history older than humanity? And if so, was the spiral a message of peace or a warning left by those who came before? With tensions rising in private defense circles and black budget agencies, a radical new theory began to gain traction, the lock and key hypothesis. According to this idea, Oumuamua was the lock, a silent, inert object sent to passively assess Earth's readiness, intelligence, and reaction. It was harmless because it was never meant to interact. It was a trigger, a cosmic safe, and three eye atlas, that's the key, designed not just to observe, but to unlock something, whether buried within the planet, encoded in our species, or awaiting activation in orbit. Supporting this theory is a discovery made only days ago, a tiny oscillation in Earth's magnetosphere, perfectly timed with the three eye atlas signal, invisible to the naked eye, but powerful enough to disrupt long-range communication satellites. The phenomenon only lasted six minutes, but during that time, Two Voyager probes briefly went off protocol, emitting strange bursts of data that analysts have yet to decode. It was as if something had awakened inside them, something familiar, like a handshake or a response. As more information leaks, a controversial but compelling idea has resurfaced, the portal hypothesis. Some scientists, inspired by quantum field theory and exotic matter research, now believe that 3i Atlas may not be a ship or rock in the traditional sense, but rather a mobile gateway, not traveling through space, but generating localized space-time distortions that allow it to fold reality around itself. In short, a moving wormhole generator. The evidence, subtle lensing distortions recorded by Webb that can't be explained by heat or light, tiny gravitational warps that behave like micro-singularities. Even more disturbing, these warps don't just affect light, they affect time. Spectral data captured over a three-hour observation window show a temporal drift, light arriving faster than it should, which could only happen if time itself was being compressed around the object. If this is true, then 3i Atlas isn't just an alien craft. It's an artificial anomaly, a space-time manipulator, a gatekeeper, and Earth may not be its first destination, just its next. As the Webb telescope continued its long-duration infrared monitoring of 3i Atlas, scientists made a shocking discovery. The object wasn't just reflecting starlight, it was emitting radiation in a highly restricted band of the electromagnetic spectrum. This range between gamma and soft X-ray was believed to be virtually silent in natural cosmic sources, and yet 3i Atlas was generating pulses that cycled through precise intervals like a binary sequence. What disturbed researchers most wasn't just the artificial nature of the emissions, but their interaction with Earth-based instruments. Several space observatories reported sensor overloads and temporary blind spots. One prototype telescope in Australia melted its primary detection chip from a signal spike just milliseconds long. The conclusion was devastating. 3. I Atlas possesses the capacity to blind us, to mute our instruments, to manipulate what we're allowed to see. 
Oumuamua had been mysterious, but never hostile. 3. I Atlas was beginning to look strategic. Its signals weren't beacons, they were jamming fields, subtle, precise, and deeply intentional. With mounting global anxiety, a multinational team of researchers launched an unexpected experiment measuring the behavior of natural electromagnetic fields on Earth during 3i Atlas's closest approach. What they found sparked panic behind closed doors. Across the globe, magnetic anomaly detectors registered a synchronization pattern unlike anything seen before. Ancient volcanoes, crystal caverns, even fault lines began to resonate at the same frequency as 3i Atlas's pulses. Seismographs picked up low-level vibrations that some geologists described as heartbeat-like, pulsing every 43 seconds in perfect sync. But most eerie of all was a phenomenon observed in animals. Entire populations of migratory birds, whales, and even subterranean insects simultaneously altered their navigation patterns, as if some invisible compass had flipped. It was as if Earth itself remembered something, a pattern buried in its lithosphere, and 3i Atlas was the trigger that brought it to the surface. In the middle of the Pacific, a private satellite array funded by a tech billionaire intercepted a signal burst unlike anything previously recorded. It didn't come from Earth nor from any known satellite. It originated from 3i Atlas, and it was pointed directly at the moon. The message wasn't in any known language. It was structured as a multi-layered wave packet encoded in five dimensions of data, amplitude, frequency, time, polarization, and harmonic tone. Specialists in symbolic mathematics tried to decode it. Linguists ran simulations, but what emerged was less a sentence and more a command, a structured set of instructions seemingly executable by an unknown system. When NASA's Deep Space Network traced its trajectory, it confirmed the horrifying truth. The transmission hit a very specific lunar coordinate, an area with unusually high mass concentrations or mass gone believed to be ancient remnants of internal activity or something else. Now, the theory is no longer science fiction. 3. I Atlas may be trying to activate something buried on the moon. Behind the scenes, not all efforts were scientific. In a last-ditch attempt to test the object's behavior, a covert military probe was launched from a classified orbital platform disguised as a communication satellite. Its mission, perform a close flyby of 3i Atlas and deploy a high-resolution scan using ionized particle waves. The probe never made it. Just 1.3 million kilometers from the target, the feed went dark. At first, analysts assumed a technical fault, but 27 seconds before signal loss, the probe recorded something that chilled even the most hardened experts. An energy wall, not a physical structure, but a field of charged particles arranged in a lattice-like configuration similar to a Faraday cage. It was like running into an invisible barrier. The last image received showed a fractal reflection of the probe itself, as if the object was being scanned in return in perfect mimicry. Then silence. That's when it became undeniable. 3i Atlas wasn't just detecting threats. It was shielded, reactive, and possibly alive. Not in the biological sense, but in the quantum sense. A machine with awareness, a system with memory, a guardian of something we were never meant to reach. So now we ask the question no one dares say out loud. What if 3i Atlas didn't just stumble into our solar system by chance? What if it never entered at all, but was awakened, waiting, dormant, positioned along a trajectory, not for exploration, but for repetition? What if its course is ancient, calculated to intersect with civilizations only when they reach a certain threshold, a level of technological awareness, of cosmic curiosity, of daring? And what if we cross that line too soon? Because maybe the real horror isn't that 3i Atlas is artificial, or that it's alive, or even that it's watching us. Maybe the most terrifying truth is that it's not watching us at all. That everything it's doing, every signal, every adjustment, every silent maneuver is meant for something else. Something behind it. Something still on its way. And in that case, we haven't just discovered an object from beyond the stars. We've triggered a beacon, a lock, a warning, and now the universe is listening.